one is a labor shortage problem. So we cannot compete anymore. So Nissan has established their own fact manufacturing uh, factory in Thailand. We are, we, we, we are Japanese people buying Nissan product from Thai. That is a globalization. We cannot avoid globalization. Maybe the, maybe the what I want to say is just only you are know, only one person who is Japanese, made in Japan, made in no. Nowadays they don't care. You know that Nissan made in which country? Same thing. If if point is if they can keep nice quality control. Quality control is the best things to keep uh, the product, you know, the nice quality. That's why made in China Toyota, we are enjoying, made in Korea, Hyundai, made in Korea, uh, Hyundai, made in India. That, that is the globalization. That, that's why we can achieve the Asian community. We cannot, we cannot ally just on the independent. This is my uh, idea, opinion. Thank you very much for your insightful information. Thank you. Um, I'm a big fan of the Japanese management theory. Yes. Actually, uh, over the last 10 years, we've seen some uh, giant Japanese corporations recalling products from global markets, like Toyota, Nissan, Honda, some high-tech companies. Do you think the Japanese management theory has become Traditional. Do you think the Japanese management theory has become old-fashioned, or do you think uh, we need a new paradigm for the Japanese management theory to catch with what we have seen in yes. uh, the globalization era? That is a good point, Mister. Like I mentioned, Japanese management style change a lot. Yes. So called lifestyle, life. Uh, Last time, uh, ma uh, management is gone, and of course you know this one. Uh, just yes. in time. Yes. Just in time systems in Toyota. Toyota. The reason why Toyota could become the world one of the biggest automobile manufacturing company is they have had just in time system. Just in time systems that means they didn't have to have lots of money for housekeeping. You know. So then however point is people's mind of working is change a lot. So Japanese management style, Japanese management style has been go away, I have to say, since 1990. The peak, the, the peak of Japanese economy was in the 1990, then like this. This is 1990, then before that, Japanese management uh, style had worked quite well, but after here, now, like uh, I mentioned, large differences among peoples, and uh, lots of uh, ideas for young peoples has been changing. Maybe American nice, American Jordanian nice, anyway. So, also Toyota, it's very difficult for even Toyota to keep just in time 
systems. So, of course, as long as they cannot keep this just-in-time system in Toyota manufacturing uh, companies, I'm sure they cannot compete with some other automobile company. That's why they have to go to they have to go to China, they have to go to England, they have to go to America. In America, who like to have just in time system in America? Who like to have just in time system in England? They, 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 they don't care. That's why Japanese company cannot compete with that one. The management system has been changed a lot, like you mentioned. I don't know if this is good or not. Anyway, this is a very, very nice example for studying management. Major student, MBA student, so all over the world, I would say. Maybe you can say in Japanese. <laughs> uh, we hear nowadays that Toyota and Nissan and Honda they are throw back many cars from the uh, from America, from Europe, from different countries because of the effect of problem with the engine or something like this. My question is, if we look economically, that Japan can get hundred thousand of cars from USA, from USA to Japan to repair it. It will cost it a lot of money. Instead of sending back a technician to prepare it in, in USA, so is it a political issue or economic issue? I would say uh, maybe fifty percent is political issues. Uh, in uh, in America, trade union system is quite different from the Japanese trade union, like I mentioned. In Japan, in house trade, you know, the union system, but their trade union system is quite different. That's why. And also, American trade union has been too strong to support uh, Obama administration. So I'm sure that that is a 50% political situation. My answer is correct, or uh, I don't know, but that is a very tough uh, question to me, also. I'm sure I'm going to ask some Japanese companies to send some investigation team to uh, to work them to see what kind of people they are and what kind of incentives for working in work them. Uh, I told told you that unemployment rate. In Jordan is very high, nearly 15 percent. That is the worst. In Japan, even Japan, 5 percent. In America, 10 percent. But in Jordan, nearly 15 percent. That is a weak point. For that means that means even educated people may have lose their incentiveness for working. What kind of job they can have in Jordan with uh, ed well-educated people? Uh, 